We are here back in the fantasy bar. Six plays for you for week five on Yahoo, including a couple running backs under $20, a wide receiver quarterback pairing I'm eyeing this week, a tight end I think bounces back in a big way, and of course, my favorite play on Yahoo for the week. Who is it? Belly up to the fantasy bar and find out. Welcome in, guys. Week five edition Beers Daily Fantasy Six Pack back in the Fantasy Bar once again with six guys fresh off the tap for you over on Yahoo. Thank you, as always, for stopping by and checking out the video. Now, before we get into the plays, as always, make sure you click that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Get over to scoresandodds.com slash beer for all of your sports betting needs. Tons of information over there. Compare odds across all different sports books and get premium picks. From some of your favorite Roto Grinders personalities, myself included, we'll have a pick for tonight's game and more for this weekend. If you want to check it out, scoresandodds.com slash beer. And lastly, Yahoo doing big once again. The $1 million baller contest, free money in the prize pool. If you want a special offer on Yahoo, click the link below the video for $25 to utilize in your DFS contest on Yahoo this week. All right, let's dive into the plays here. For this week, we're going to start at the running back position with Damian Harris of the Patriots, just $19. Now, I know it's been a wild ride here with Damian Harris. Last couple games, not great. Against two pretty good run Ds, though, in New Orleans and Tampa Bay. We cannot say the same here about the Houston Texans. So I really think New England is a team that wants to win on defense, and they want to run the ball. I don't think they want to put a ton on Mac Jones' plate here. So I think we get a big dose of Damian Harris in this game. The Texans have allowed the six most rushing yards and bottom 10 in touchdowns allowed as well. I like also that it's not a full PPR over here. We know Harris, not a big time pass catcher, so it puts more relevance on the yards, on the touchdowns here. And I think he'll be able to rack up plenty in both categories here. New England, big time favorites in this one. Game script is definitely in our favor here. Don't be afraid to go back to the well on Damian Harris. All right, let's go to the quarterback position next. We're going to roll with a mid-range option with Daniel Jones of the Giants. Now, Danny Dobbs, we've had him before. He's been good to us. He's definitely had his ups and downs, but that's what you get with a guy like this. But two road games so far, and I know, very limited sample. Don't need the sample size police after me here. This guy's averaging almost 29 Yahoo points a game on the road. Now, this game here, 52-point total. So we know there's going to be points scored here. Dallas playing extremely well and a big favorite. Likely playing from behind here are the Giants. We know he's going to be throwing a lot. We know he offers a ton of upside with his legs as well. And Dallas has not done well against the quarterback position. Bottom six, in fact, in pretty much all the major categories. Passing yards allowed, touchdowns, rushing touchdowns allowed, which we know Jones has the upside for. And, of course, fantasy points allowed to this position. Sets up very well this week for Daniel Jones. All right, we like Daniel Jones. Who do we pair him up with? For me, wide receiver Kenny Galladay, $18. So likely no Sterling Shepard, Darius Slayton once again. So we're going to be thin on the pass catchers. Love Saquon Barkley this week, but I also like the passing game here against the Cowboys. Again, Dallas has struggled with wide receivers, as you'd expect. Fifth most receiving yards allowed to that position. Bottom three in fantasy points allowed. We really saw Galladay get it going last week, and I think he builds upon that here and has an even bigger game. So again, 52 point total in this one and a lot of ways that you can run it back with Dallas. Zeke has looked great. You wanna go the passing game here, pair it up with Zeke, makes a lot of sense. I think CD Lamb's in a bounce back spot. Amari Cooper always solid at home. So many ways that you can build yourself a little game stack here with Jones and Gallaudet. And it could be very productive in this one. And the price is very cheap over here on yahoo all right let's go back to the running back position once again we're going to stay under 20 dollars. try to make life easy on you we're rolling with damian williams of the bears unless you've been living under a rock you know by now no david montgomery expecting to miss four to six weeks here damian williams i think is the guy that's going to take over this backfield i know there's some khalil herbert talk a guy i'm intrigued with but i think williams going to get the majority of the work here for the bears now we know justin fields has been named the starting quarterback for the rest of the season things have not gone well through the air for justin fields i love the big arm i love the shots they're taking but i think they're going to have a basic game plan until he gets comfortable here and that's going to mean a lot of damian williams whether it's running the ball or catching the ball out of the backfield giving fields those easy completions here we know damian williams a very good receiver out of the backfield and las vegas decent defense no doubt i think they're going to give fields some fits but they have allowed six touchdowns to running backs already seventh most fantasy points allowed here i think damian williams gets going here 
in a big way against the Las Vegas Raiders. All right, to the tight end position. A stud that's been disappointing so far. I think he breaks out in a big way this week. That's George Kittle, $21. So great buy low here on George Kittle. Anytime I can get a guy like this at $21, people are gonna go with the recency bias here. He's been killing me in DFS. He's been killing me in my season long. He's injured. You're gonna get some low ownership here on George Kittle. Now, certainly not gonna be unowned, but I think it'll be a lot lower than he probably should be in this spot. So again, Production hasn't been great, but look at the targets for this guy. 20 targets over the last two games. And I don't think it's going to change here with Trey Lance taking over the reins at quarterback. I'm expecting this offense to be electric with him. Yes, he's going to have his struggles as a rookie quarterback, but I really think he's going to lean on Debo. Really think he's going to lean on George Kittle. And obviously, he's going to run the ball, but Kittle in a good spot here. We know Arizona's going to score points. San Francisco needs to oblige, and I think Kittle going to be a big part of that here this week. Just $21, great value here on Yahoo. All right, it's time to take a look at my favorite play on Yahoo for week five. But before we do that, we want to continue our Beast of the Week contest. Absolutely free to play. This is a thank you to you guys for hanging out, checking out the video, the thumbs up, sharing the video. We appreciate all of it. So all you have to do, get in the comment section right below the video and guess fantasy points from my favorite play of the week. The closest guest is going to win themselves a free Roto Grinders t-shirt. Soft, comfortable shirt i promise you gonna be one of the best shirts you own just get that guess in the comment section while you're there let me know your beast of the week who are you playing who are you paying up for this week who's your top play of the week let's talk about it in the comment section all right without further ado let's wrap this baby up my favorite play for week five you know i'm asked the beast of the week all right beast time back to the wide receiver position we saved you a lot of money here so we're gonna spend up to DeAndre Hopkins, $29, this week's Beast of the Week. Now, very similar to Kittle, has had his ups and downs here, and it's not so much the offense struggling, it's so many options in this offense. We've seen big games out of Christian Kirk, Wandale Moore, A.J. Green. Well, I think this is a week where DeAndre Hopkins is really gonna get it going here, and a lot of people are gonna shy away with those concerns. These are the situations I wanna dive into and get some exposure to here. So love Hopkins in this spot. Cardinals offense has been awesome so far through four weeks another big total here over 50 and air yards are certainly there the production not there but over 40 percent of the air yards last week it's a good matchup here with a weak san francisco secondary i think they're very vulnerable here to me you add it all together the minimal ownership here the matchup says blow up spot here for deandre hopkins take advantage easily my favorite play on yahoo in this week's beast of the week all right, guys, that are upset for week five on Yahoo. Again, make sure you get your guests for DeAndre Hopkins fantasy points for your shot at a free Roto Grinders t-shirt. Make sure you take advantage of that offer right below the video. Click that link for $25 to utilize on Yahoo scores and odds.com slash beer for all of your sports betting needs. And again, thank you for the likes and the subscribes for rotogrinders.com. I am Beer Sancelo. Best of luck this week, guys. Make sure you also head over and check out my Fano and DraftKings video. Six more plays I'm liking for week five. Just click the link here right in the video. Good luck, guys. Thanks again. We'll see you. Hey, thanks for checking out our videos. If you want more expert advice on DraftKings, FanDuel, or any other daily fantasy sports, make sure you check out the current videos playlist.